Hello, this is Annalisa from Creative Curious Learning and Living, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you along to the thrift store. So let's get right into it. So first, I started off in the book section, and I was looking at the Bibles and religious books, and I found this one, which was a blast from the past, which is a McGee and me didn't pick that up, but I thought that was so fun. Definitely watched that show when I was a kid. I found some really cute children's books. I did pick up a few from this section, so you will have to stay tuned to the end where I'm going to share the thrift haul with you. This one really caught my eye. I did pick up a few other books from the children's section as well. They had a bunch of Christmas things and some fall related things. I really loved that cornucopia piece, but didn't pick it up because it didn't really feel like I had a place for it. Love the Santa mug. I thought this was so cute, this little bear teacher themed guy but left it on the shelf definitely lots of Christmas finds out and about gingerbread if you have been following me for a little while you know that I love to decorate with a gingerbread theme for Christmas so I loved this candle warmer and then I love checking out the mug section even though I don't need more mugs but I really really liked these ones but they did stay on the shelf always bring your own sunshine and then the happy face one and I did go ahead and pick this guy up for decorating with Easter or just for my kids to play with I did not include it in the thrift haul because I was hiding it from my kids and then this was so random a little bit of me wanted to pick this up because we love puppets and we have some mini ones from the dollar store but it was a giant octopus popper like this could be a hat like this is so random but I said no and I left it here but I had to include it because you're gonna find some crazy things at the thrift store this made me laugh so funny and then I found this this is a dish drying rack for baby bottles, but you will see, I did thrift it, and you will see a why in the end when I explain my thrift haul. I really liked these placemats, I loved the apples and the candy canes, you had that like fall Christmas vibe, really liked them, there were so many of them. But I don't typically use placemats, so I left that behind. Love this kitty silicone silicon plate. Yes, please. My kids love cats, and I have been looking for one of these, so definitely had to go ahead and pick that up. You will see that in the end. And this Elmo. Like, my kids love Elmo, and my daughter right now, she's in the midst of learning her letters, and I've seen these before, and they never have all the letters, so I was super excited to find that. You're getting a glimpse into my cart. There is one book in there that I do not end up sharing in the haul because I gave it to my kids right away when I got home and I couldn't find it when I was sharing the haul. And if you have been watching my videos in my last thrift, thrifting and haul video, I shared that I needed to go back to look for sweaters for my seven year old. He was needing some new sweaters and I got so lucky right now picked up this peanuts sweater for him it's so cute I'm going to show you more details at the end and I picked up another sweater for him so glad I went got him some cute pieces for fall for the cold winter cold fall and winter and into spring sometimes it's still cold he definitely needed some new sweaters so, so excited for the finds. Sometimes you go to the thrift store looking for like one item and you just don't find it. But then when you go back and you're looking for something else, then you find the piece that you were looking for before.
right in to the haul from my recent thrifting trip. So at the beginning of the video, I did take you along through the store for a little bit of the shopping experience. So you're going to see some of those items and then some items that I did not film as well. So the first item that I will share with you is this gingerbread candle warmer. So it is a candle warmer. There's a candle in there that I need to take out of there, but it is really really cute it is broken in a few areas but has the little bell and I definitely need to clean it up it is quite dusty but I thought it was a really good price it is called gingerbread village number one from party light and I love decorating with a gingerbread theme so I thought this would look really nice on my coffee bar area or somewhere in my kitchen so when I see gingerbread pieces it's really hard for me to not pick them up and I'm okay with the little chips here because it is still super super cute so excited to use this in my upcoming Christmas decor this year and then I did go ahead and pick up this it was $5.99 and this is a super cute wooden it's wood wooden teapot and it closes here with the string and then it opens up here. And I picked this up for my daughter, but I'm not going to let her have it in her room quite yet. I thought this would look really cool. I have this cart set up in our dining room with different activities for her. So I thought this would look really cute on there. And then I want to put some little manipulatives that I have. I have some felt manipulatives manipulatives like learning toys that I can put in here to keep safe and she will love this so I thought this was really really cute I've never seen a piece like this so a really durable piece that can hold some homeschooling resources and then when she's a little bit older she could have this in her room in her play kitchen or she could even use like her Gabby dollhouse characters in here and she could even use the little figurines that she has of Gabby's Dollhouse in here as well at the table. She plays with those ones at the table. I just don't want this to end up on the floor in her room. But I thought this was so cute. And I love to pick up fun pieces like this for my daughter when I see them. I don't see them often. Like I've never seen, I've never seen anything like that. So also for my daughter, I picked up this Elmo on the go toy so this is a case and it's really hard to open but it snaps open and it has the letters inside that come out and I have seen this at the thrift store so often but the letters are never there so I was really surprised to see all of the letters intact so picked this up. She loves Elmo. My younger son loves Elmo. So this is something that she can use and something that he can use. And we can use this on the go as well. Take it to different places. The letters do pop in and stay in. So like they're not going to fall out. So such a fun find. And to go along with that, something that my daughter already playing with this a little bit has figured out. I also picked up these little barrels that have the colors on them. So you have green, red, yellow, orange, and purple. So I got all of these for $5. So times five. Two, three, four. Yeah, five. It's five dollars for five. So it was a dollar each for these, but these are from Learning Resources. And Typically, I looked it up so you would get like fruits and vegetables with this and then you could sort those colors into the bins. But I thought that this was a really good deal for $5. I don't need the vegetables with it. You can sort anything with it. And my daughter has been taking the letters from here and sorting them by color into here. So I think that's really, really fun. You could get pom-poms 
or anything small, counting bears and sort them into here. So I thought this was a really fun find and something super simple to add into the learning resources that we have. And then, and then I picked up this. So this is a Boone drying rack for bottles, but I have been seeing people use these as sensory things and put like little bugs in here, or I'm thinking of putting wooden letters in here that she has to find and touch and you get the texture of this. And like this does come out like, so it's like grass and then you have this. So you could even do like water play in here. So this was only $5, but brand new, they retail for about $20. So I've been on the hunt for one of these. I think this would be really, really fun for like fall sensory bins, spring sensory, also could do like Halloween, different fun. So I am going to be using this probably in, we have a sensory table now that I made. So I'm probably going to put that in here and do some fun things with that. So super excited to actually find one of those. I have been looking. And then I will show you the books that I got and a few other items. And then actually, okay. So then I picked up these two things. These are really random. The eggs were not in here, but I put them in here. So these are super cute plastic little... Easter, I want to say they're like Easter baskets, but it kind of looks like a garbage can. So there's the duck and the bunny, and they were $2.99 each. Super random. You could use these as Easter baskets and fill it with Easter candy and goodies, but I picked it up to put the Easter eggs in. So I have a bunch of Easter eggs that I've kept for, for a while, and I go ahead and replace them when they crack. But my daughter loves to play with these Easter eggs and I've just been storing them in a box and that box is starting to get damaged and it needs to be replaced so I saw these and I thought this would be super fun for her at Easter she can store all of the eggs in here and then it'll be more fun for her to put them away when it's in the bunny and chick and easy to take from the table and back so Totally random, but I thought this would be fun to store plastic Easter eggs because she loves to play with them, loves to put little things inside around Easter time and even throughout the year. Sometimes I'll just bring these out for her to play with. So this is going to be a fun way to store those. I also love to use the Easter eggs for colors and counting and different things. So a fun and random way to store those. All right, and then I got a few books, some for me and some for the kids. So I got Canada Votes, How We Elect Our Government. Just thought that would be a good resource to have on hand. And then the rest of the books I got were little golden books. So some like keepsake ones, and then some I'm going to probably use in junk journaling. I recently started making junk journal videos. So I picked up those. So this one was Prayers for Children. So this is a board book one. I'm obviously not going to use this in a junk journal, but I love the Prayers for Children one. So I thought this was really fun to just have the board book version of that. And then I also picked up this one. I'm not going to turn this into a junk journal, but I thought this was really fun. So this is everything I need to know I learned from the little golden books. And it's just lots of little images and inspirational quotes from the different golden books. And it's just really, really sweet. I think this would be a really great book to add into a morning basket one month. And then I picked up Little Mommy. This is my daughter. And I might just have to read this to her and keep this for her. But might be doing some projects with it. Then I also picked up Annabelle's Wish and Toy Story 2, Cars, Goodnight Little Bear. This one reminds me of my youngest boy. And then I got the classic Old MacDonald Had a Farm. 
Here is a, another item that I forgot to share when I was sitting down and sharing my thrift haul with you because this was hiding in my closet in a brown paper bag from Value Village because I was hiding it from my kiddos and especially my daughter. So this is the My Little Pony gumball machine. I do not know anything about this, but I thought it was super cute. And my daughter loves gumball machines. She loves watching the silly shows on YouTube with kids and gumball machines. So it is super fun gingerbread vibes for my gingerbread decor. I will probably give this to her on December 1st so she can use like her little Gabby toys with it or maybe even she can have it in her room and she can have her bigger Gabby toys play in here. But I just love the gingerbread vibes and if I do leave it in our dining room with all of the gingerbread decor that I usually put up, it will look really fun. So it opens up here, the fridge opens up and then there's a little sink here and the oven and then if you press over here it lights up and makes a noise then this opens up here and then this is a little like elevator that spirals up and then it also opens up here and there is a little spot there and you can go in and up here is the top portion so yeah it was $5.99 and I just think this is so so fun and so so cute and she is going to love that and then I also picked up this kitty bowl for my youngest I have been looking for one of these I didn't share it in the sit down because I was washing it and we tried it out and so I went ahead and washed it and I'm sharing it with you now so he can have this on his high chair or on the table and it's like suction cup ish I think it's supposed to like stick to the table it's not like suction cup but I think it's supposed to like stick to the table a little bit so excited for that and you know that we love cats in this house so I was excited to find a cat one also did go ahead and pick up this bible this is the love letters from God holy bible and this retails for $27.99 Canadian and I feel like this is out of print because I couldn't find it online but everything I was finding in Canadian was $40 and it was used so I only paid $6.99 for this I thought it was really really beautiful so it is just the bible but um on some of the pages you have these love letters to God um or love letters from God and she this is by Glennis Glennis Nellist, she writes the books Twas the Evening Before Christmas and Twas the Evening Before Easter and Twas the Season of Advent that I have shared here before in my videos. And I do have one of her books that is Love Letters from God. She has several of them. I picked that up before we had kids and I wanted to read it to my kids one day and I have. But to find the Bible, I didn't even know that there was a Love Letters from God Holy Bible. So I thought this was such a fun find. Um, we I love her other books and use them every year for Christmas and stuff. So it says here, like, your love letter from God, Genesis 1, 5, 1 to 6. Dear, and you can say your kid's name. Have you ever been worried about something like Abram was? Abram was afraid he might never have a son, but on that starry night, I whispered a promise into Abram's heart. I promised him that one day he would have a son and that one day his family would be a great nation. But that's not all. I promised Abram that I would be his shield, a strong shield that would protect him and keep him safe. Abram believed the promise and you can believe it too. When you are afraid, know that I am your shield. I'll wrap my strong arms around you and stay by your side forever. Your promise keeper God. And then it has a Bible verse down here and then it says write back so you can write back to God. Write down a list of things you worry about like making the soccer team, getting good grades or standing up to a bully at school and cross to reach one as long as you believe in God. You don't need to worry about a single thing. He will guide you and protect you. So I just think that's really awesome that as you're reading through the Bible, you're interacting with the heart of God and like thinking about what you're reading. And I have been reading through this. I have really been enjoying this. So I definitely want to go ahead and add this into our morning time and maybe get my kids to read it as they grow. There's also some um, colored pages in here how to pray I think that's the only one. Oh, oh nope there's one more 
So what does this one say? The Ten Commandments and what is what is sin, repentance, grace, lots of different elements in this Bible. And I think this is a really beautiful keepsake Bible. So I was really excited to find that. And then I picked up some sweaters for my seven-year-old and then my nine-year-old as well, mostly for my seven-year-old, but this one will fit both of them. It was just a really good price and I wasn't sure if it would fit my seven-year-old, but it will definitely fit my nine-year-old and my seven-year-old can grow into it. But this is just a basic blue zip-up hoodie. It is from H&M. So picked that up for them. I was really needing to get a sweater for my seven-year-old. He has outgrown all of his. So I did go ahead and pick this one up for him and he loves it. So this is also from H&M. It was $5.49 and it's 12 to 13 years, but it fits him perfectly. It's like oversized. So he likes that. He has another sweater like this from H&M with the soccer ball on it that has the sequins and he is outgrowing it and he's quite sad. So to find another one that has the sequence and the soccer ball, super great find, exactly what I'm looking for. And then this one is super, super cute and amazing for fall. So this is a Peanuts sweater. I love the color, the like burnt orange, burnt brown. Um, and then on the back you have that. So my husband really likes Snoopy and I like Snoopy too. And my seven-year-old doesn't really know much about him, but it is just super cute. And it is also from H&M. And this was only $1.99. And it is a size also 11 to 12. But it is quite on the smaller end and it fits him perfectly. And when I showed it to him and I explained the character and that we can, there's like some books about him and the movie and that we really like this this character he was like oh it's so cute I love it and he tried it on and he just really really loved it so I'm excited he definitely needed some new sweaters for the fall season so great finds there for sure so that is everything that I thrifted if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel here on my channel and share homeschool journey cleaning motivation home decor sensory bins book hauls and more videos like this so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one